You know I'm in Singapore right now. Good luck to me. <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh my god. 1,120. Thank you so much, you guys, for allowing me to live my dream life. Oh. Red hair dye on my pillow. Hi, Stan Stans. My name is Stan. Welcome to the world of extra. Today, my dad is with me and he is driving me to Ikea. Hi, Papa. I cannot see you because I'm driving. I am basically going to finally decorate my apartment. As you guys know, a couple of months ago, my... and I... and we were supposed to decorate our apartment together, but obviously I live alone now, so now I have to do it all by myself. But honestly, slay, because now I don't have to ask for anyone's opinion, I can do anything I want, so I'm excited. First things first, let's go to Ikea and buy new furniture. I'm also gonna be like getting rid of a lot of different furniture at my place, that's why my dad came with me. I'm so grateful, he's always so supportive now. I'm excited to finally decorate my place. Hold it right there. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys because I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments saying, oh my god, Stan, you're spending so much money. But I actually did already buy a lot of affordable things off of Timu a few weeks back. So I'm not guilty splurging a little bit more today. No, seriously though, because look at these gold spoons, forks, and knives I got. This entire 24 piece set was only $8.60 on Timu. Oh my god. For those of you guys who don't know, Timu is an online marketplace that offers the most competitively priced products in multiple categories like fashion, jewelry, home decor, pet supplies, beauty, and so much more. It's actually very recently that I've learned how to spend more money and treat myself but I'm always so down to save more with my purchases you know I have these really ugly cups like I don't have proper cups and it's so embarrassing when I have people over cuz <laughs> but look what I got for $20 oh my god Stan a cup for $20 it's not a cup. It's not even two cups. Not three either. It's four cups with lids, glass straws, and two straw cleaners. Imagine drinking your morning latte in those. Ah! Timu is spoiling me at this point. I even got a really nice scale for $7 because I bake now. Wait, I really want to show you guys my actual recent obsession though. Oh my god. It's a galaxy light projector. It's kind of bright right now so you can't really see it. But the projection spins. You can also adjust the head because it's magnetic. I love using this at night when I journal and I'm just like meditating. And these things go for hundreds of dollars in other places but it's only $16.90 on Timu. That is wild. Look at this cute Murakami flower I got for $1.90 on Timu. And I even got... Wait, this is not from Timu. Look at my hand towels. Cute little ducks. Are you kidding? I'll show you so much more cute and useful things on Timu later, so keep on watching. They always have side-wide sales, and new users of the free Timu app can get a lot of first-time purchase discounts. And if you click the link in my description box and use code HIEXTRA50 at checkout, you can get 50% off on your first order on the Timu app. Oh, this? You want an OLED Nintendo Switch? Okay, download the free Timu app, get it through my link, and apply my discount code, and the OLED Nintendo Switch is only $270. The original price of these are $355. That's almost $100 off. Thank you so much to Timu for sponsoring this video. Now let's keep shopping. We made it to Ikea. It's my dad's first time ever. We are going to do a little bit of a morning pick-me-up. We actually had breakfast, but we really want coffee and dessert. I want also malon cake. That is the most random thing to want, but we are going to get him his malon cake. My dad is so overwhelmed because there's so many options. <laughs> Literally, there's so many options for desserts and cakes. Matcha pie. I'm so confused. I got the drink bar and they have iced coffee, but they don't have ice. And they also have just a mug. I asked. They have iced coffee, but no ice. I'm looking for the ice, but they don't have it. So I'm just gonna drink iced coffee without ice in a mug. What the fuck, Ikea? The Yokohama Ikea probably has the prettiest food court. First of all, let's try my iced coffee without ice in a mug. Wait, they actually have good coffee. Okay, I know this is not the point of this video, but let me try this matcha tart. Wait, I actually like it because it's not too sweet. My dad hates it. Mmm. <laughs> Wait, this is so good. What the fuck? And then we also have this little mumbrang. I love them always. Really? So we just made it back to my home. I'm just quickly going to make some coffee. <laughs> But no, we just finished eating, so we're at the IKEA showrooms now. I love these places so much, just like having little room inspos and stuff. I just love looking at all the places, but I know exactly the things I want. I don't want to spend too much time here, because every time I come to IKEA, I get so carried away that I would spend like literally four hours with my friends, just like fucking around in all the little showrooms. I'm not gonna do that. Shut up. The next time I move to a bigger apartment, I'm gonna get myself this nice yellow couch, and it will be my King Leo throne. Mark my words. Shut up. Salavars. I know this is really impulsive, but one of the things I absolutely 
hate in my apartment are the chairs for my dining table. And I found this a blue chair that's literally only $50. I might have to literally change the chair. Should I just do it? Maybe I should. Imagine this chair with this little thing. This is my little dinner chair now. Look at this. Also, I really don't care about the comfort. It's more about the aesthetic. It's about the looks. This clear chair was actually also a contender. Imagine like a clear chair for your dining table. Isn't that so cute? But I also think it's just not the vibe we're going for. We need like color blocks, you know, like very maximalist vibes. That's what I'm going for. Ooh, you guys are so fucking excited. You guys are not ready. Shut up. For years and years and years, I've always been a fan of these like little clear cabinet moments. I've always wanted them, but I realized that I don't really like seeing through my cabinets. I know this is for like showcasing like your little trinkets and tchotchkes, but I really like it when it's just like one solid color. And that's exactly what we're buying today. There's a red one that I really want and we're looking for it right now. Hi, you guys. It's Remy Ashton. Today we are going to bake some vegan cookies. Just kidding. Hi, Remy. Okay, let's be real. Let's address the elephant in the room. My apartment is tiny. Okay, we've been known, but I genuinely have no place to put this, but the blue is attracting me so hard. I need this. I will buy this. I don't give a fuck. My dad is so funny. He's lying to his coworkers that he's in Singapore. He's never been here and he's just so like amazed by everything and he's sending pictures to his coworkers and saying, you know I'm in Singapore right now? Singapore? Like where did that come from? Oh my god, like Ikea is just like tricking me into buying the stupidest little things. Like imagine this in my place. I have nowhere to put it. My dad is asking me to hold this because he said he wants a picture of me. You guys, I found my dream duvet. Green and white grids. I've wanted grid bed sheets since literally I was in high school in my Tumblr era. But a green one? One of my absolute favorite sections is the light section. I have always wanted like a big standing lamp. Like I said, I don't have a lot of space, so I feel like I shouldn't get one that like goes like this. Like I should get a lamp that just goes like this. Like these ones. Because I'm planning on putting it in front of the staircase. And I feel like if it goes like this, it's just not gonna work. Just trust me, okay? I feel like you don't understand what I'm saying. Just trust me. But also like all these IKEA lights are low-key ugly. <laughs> no offense to Sweden. I feel like homes could never have enough light. I feel like I need this on top of the red cabinet I'm buying. Or my dad is so against the yellow light. So maybe I should go with this gold one. But this one's way more expensive than the plastic yellow one. I really stand by the plastic yellow one, you guys. I feel like it's so cute. But at the same time, the gold one is so much more chic. Like, I, in I can envision. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. He's really trying to convince me to buy the gold light. Barometer, a $50 lamp. My dad supports my impulsive decisions, you guys. It's a problem. You guys, I'm officially going to be one of those people. I have to buy fake plants because all my plants are dying because I always forget to water them. Like, Monsteras, you have to water every three days, and I can't keep up with that schedule. <laughs> like, I just keep forgetting. I'm just gonna turn to buying fake plants. That is so embarrassing. <laughs> We are getting so many things. I don't know how much my budget is, but this is an investment. I'd like to believe. Time to pay up. I'm so nervous. How much do you think it will be, you guys? So far, three items, and it's $140. We haven't scanned the big things yet, and it's $260 so far. Whoa. Now we have to scan the big things. $1,120. This is everything. Okay, we just got home and this is what it's looking like. I got rid of the little thing here. That little thing because this is where I want to put like the red cabinet. I also got rid of the black and red stools from my old place that I haven't been using. There's a lot of furniture to build, you guys. I'm not ready. And my place, again, looks like I just moved in. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I have to go help my dad because we are carrying up all the things we bought. There's so many. We are also getting rid of all of these chairs because I got the blue ones. Is that a smart idea? This is so good. Is it? Yeah. Do you like pickles? Yeah, but I'm not sure if I can eat in the morning though. Really? Oh, it's good. Good luck to me. <laughs> <laughs> we had breakfast earlier and we had to have breakfast on the floor. I got rid of all my chairs. This is Yakub. Was that a fart? <laughs> no. Okay. He's gonna help me build my chairs because it's a struggle. 
Let's say. <laughs> so the chair we're building is this blue one. It's a metal chair. I've actually built every single one of my furniture. This is the first time I've ever had anyone help me. Yay. So thank you. This is actually really comfortable. Whoa. It That's is actually, nice. yeah. The back support is good. Yeah. See, that's cute. That's great. Perfect. Whoa, wait. I love it. And it's like the perfect height for the dinner table. Wait, hold on. This just elevated the whole <laughs> look. <laughs> no, seriously. This just elevated, elevated the, whole the whole look. Like, look at this. The blue chair with the white table is really giving. I think you're absolutely right. Thank you. We're just gonna build the other one, but we gotta keep going, so... Okay. Amazing. <laughs> okay, so it's actually the next day. Stewie's in the shower singing. Shut the fuck up! Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys all the things I got, and I'm also going to like build all the things I got. Okay, so let's just like prepare everything. First things first, I wanted to build the light I got, the gold lamp. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. Oh yeah, by the way, like I also built the other chair. So these are my two blue chairs. They are so nice and comfy, actually. I am obsessed with them. Last night, I went to a Coach event. Coach is actually one of the brands I really wanted to work with since I started YouTube. My very first meeting with my management, they were like, what brands do you want to work with? And Coach was one of them. So it was really surreal. I went to their event in Harajuku and we had a photo shoot. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys probably saw it already. Oh, this is so nice and heavy. This is so exciting. Oh my god. This is really nice. I don't remember it being this nice. Damn. But yeah, after the coach event, we ended up going to Nichome. I need to be a little bit more wary about my alcohol consumption. So last night, I didn't really drink. And I actually came home pretty early. Today is Saturday. I might go out tonight with some friends. But nothing sure yet, you know? Stevie and I will hang out as well. But you know, the apartment redecoration has to continue. The show must go on. This is so gorgeous. It's so elegant. Look at it. What the hell? This is like my dream lamp. Look at this. Go oh, it's really heavy. Wait. Wait. I'm not the type of person who likes like a real dark room. I like turning on all my lights at home. It makes me more productive. My mental state is not really good when I turn off all my lights. I know a lot of people like having dark rooms and just having their LED lights. I don't like that. I like it for like sexy time and like I get all <laughs> But not for when I am awake and ready to slay. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? <laughs> oh my god, I also got the brightest fucking bulb. I know exactly where I want to put this. I'm so excited You guys know my iconic green couch. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to change the cover, but I'm still gonna get a green one I know the green and the yellow matches really well But this is pretty old and it's stained with like some hair dye And oh my god, I got gum on this one time I was napping with gum in my mouth I woke up and the gum was gone a few weeks later. I was like, why is there gum all over my couch? It's me. But yeah, I just thought like Pink pillow with green couch. Look at that color combination. Don't even play. Don't even play. I hope it fits perfectly. Okay, that is definitely not the right size. It's a little too big. Flop.com. No! That is so fucking ugly. I love how tight this was. I still think it's cute, right? Right? <laughs> we will find a pillow that's the right size. No, don't panic. Let's not panic. It's fine. When I tell you I literally got everything I wanted, I'm not kidding. This is what my dishwashing liquid looks like. It's so ugly and it's like leaking and it's like flat and discombobulated. So of course I got a new pump. I've always dreamt of like having my own apartment when I was younger. And then I was like, one day I'm gonna have like clear pumps at my new apartment. I mean, <laughs> It's the simple things in life, you know? And I know it might sound stupid, but like with this, I feel like I'm really living my dream life. Because of you guys, like I'm able to buy the things I really want. I really do recognize my privilege, and let's be real, you have to have like certain amount of money to even like splurge on things like these. This is not a necessity, you know? But the fact that I'm able to afford things like these, I know it's not like the most expensive thing in the world. I don't know, I just feel really, really blessed. And I'm not taking it for granted that I'm able to like buy things like these. I mean, come on! Shut the hell up. Oh my god, look! The blue dishwashing liquid in this clear bottle. I am shook. And now I'm gonna be even more excited to do the dishes. You know, I'll just put it right here. 
But while we're on the topic of kitchen, I got new plates as well. So I've been using these plastic plates for like the last couple of months. And it's just like not elegant, you know? So I finally got real plates. And look at these cute blue plates. I'm so excited to be eating on these. Thank you so much, you guys, for allowing me to live my dream life. The rug I have is also from the 100 yen store and I've had this since like I was in university Literally when I used to live with my last last ex That's how old this is probably like six years. It's kind of gross. I don't think it's ever been washed. Ew So we say back to this and lay our new rug There we go finally a new real actual rug Get those dogs out of the camera But no for real I'm so excited for these as well They're like really nice rugs My dad helped me pick out the rugs I also got one for the bathroom to match Look I also got this really nice round stick on mirror I'm gonna show you guys later where I'm gonna stick this Cause we're also gonna go print and buy new posters So keep on watching if you guys wanna know where I'm gonna stick this A lot of you guys could probably relate But growing up in the Philippines We've always used like old t-shirts and old clothes as rugs. Now I got real actual towels. Just like really nice simple ones. Grids. It's really cute. I love these. Just like a simple purchase. But I don't know. I find so much happiness in buying simple things like these. Like I'm really able to recognize my privilege. And I know I keep saying this over and over again. But thank you so so much for making my dreams come true. For real. Speaking of grids. I know I've been working on the first floor this whole time. We can't forget about my bedroom. So of course. New beddings. Everything. I got myself a new summer blanket. New sheets. So this whole thing, bye! Also this really old pink sheets, bye! I am going to change this to white sheets. I usually like washing new sheets before using them, but I think it's fine this time. Is it weird? Is it nasty? If I'm being honest, I don't know the exact size of my bed. I'm guessing it's like a double vet, so I just got double sheets. Oh, literally perfect match. Oh, that's so nice for the summer. And then my new summer blanket. This was really expensive actually. And of course, I got my dream sheets ever. Like I said, I've always wanted grid sheets. Literally since I was in high school in my Tumblr era, it was such a huge trend. And all the really famous Tumblr influencers have them. Like Charlie Barker. This is so fucking pretty. Oh, wow. And how it's like white grids inside. Oh, wow. Okay, this is wild. Of course, silk pillows to sleep on. But for the pillows I'm gonna cuddle, we also have matching grids. To sleep on, I always use silk pillowcases because it's really good for your skin and hair. If you guys are struggling with acne and bad skin. You guys should invest in silk pillows. They're a little bit pricey, but they're so, so worth it. And if you bleach your hair and you're prone to like hair breakage, you guys should definitely use silk pillows. Just like that, pillows to cuddle. Oh! Red hair dye on my pillow. <laughs> la la la! <laughs> Keep it in there! Keep it in there! Okay, so this is how my bed is looking like so far. Oh my god! One of the reasons that's why I got green grid sheets is because I got this really nice knitted blanket from Timu a couple weeks back. And I thought it would match perfectly, and it honestly does. I really don't like it when people get on my bed with dirty clothes, so I always put like a nice throw blanket at the foot of my bed. Just so if people wanted to sit on my bed and they have dirty clothes, they could just like sit on this instead of my actual bed. Isn't this literally just like the cutest set? I only started to appreciate cute things recently. Recently, actually, I don't know if this is like an Asian thing, but I was very influenced by my mom and dad We only ever purchase things that are necessary and not for like the aesthetic ever It was always about how functional it is But cute things are actually really good for your mental health And I really wanted to show you guys some of the cute things I got on Timu actually Look at this Kuromi Funko Pop that I got on Timu for only $21 I also got this Apple pencil case Look, it literally looks like a real pencil and it still sticks to your iPad Literally $2 on Timu I also got this really cute frog coin purse from Naruto This is so necessary in Japan it is only three dollars on Timu. I also got this from Timu. Let's also quickly unbox it. I haven't seen it yet, but I think it would match the green sheet perfectly. It was in an air sealed bag, so it's a little bit wrinkly, but oh my god, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's like a really big bag of cheese puffs, and you can literally open it, and there are these cute little cheese puffs inside. This is such a unique plushie. I'm literally just gonna have this on my bed like this. Isn't that the cutest thing? But yeah, if you guys want cute, functional, colorful, useful things, make sure you guys download Timu. You can use my link in the description to download the app. You can use my code high extra 50 for 50 percent off huge discounts for everyone huge discounts for new users and make sure you guys check out the OLED nintendo switch deal as well thank you so much to Timu for sponsoring this video i think this is the first time in my life i have a really nice bed that i actually really like let's get stewie's reaction stewie welcome to my bed oh my god Ooh. Right? Ah! it's so, so nice. fucking nice 
Oh my god, <laughs> wait, that's so cute. <laughs> right? That's so cute. And you go, time to hook up in this bed. Okay, so it's time to build all the furniture. That's the most exciting part. It looks wise, it's perfect, but why does it smell like shit? <laughs> 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 I think it's because it's like new sheets. It smells like factory. It doesn't smell like shit. It just smells like the factory. It smells like ass. <laughs> How dare you? Okay, it literally took me all day to build all the furniture. It's dark out now, it's nighttime. I've only had breakfast, I haven't had lunch yet. But I'm meeting up with my friend for dinner anyway, so I'm just gonna wait. But I'm on my way to Kinko's. I don't know how it works, I think it's in this building. I'm trying to look for the place. I've been looking for like poster stores, and it's so hard to look for a good poster. So I am just going to print my own. There are three posters I'm gonna print, I'm so excited to show you guys. Oh wait, there it is. <gasps> I see it. There it is. It's Kinko's. I also don't know how it works, so I'm kind of nervous. I brought my nice little flash drive. Like, who the fuck uses this? It's 2023. Anyway. Poster no insert shita I think you have to like choose the type of paper you want. Either like this type, this type, or this type. This is matte, as you can see. I think I'll just do like the normal like satin. This one. <sighs> I'll do this. I'm doing an A1 poster. It's actually so huge. Look at that. Should I just do like B2? A1 is kind of crazy. Okay, I can go pick it up in 30 minutes. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but it's $160 to print three posters. Does that make sense? I'm not sure. $130? Anyway, I did it. <laughs> I'm on my way to Daiso right now to buy some blue tack and just like some adhesives for my posters. So let's go do that. I'm in Shinjuku Station in my house clothes and cracks. Okay, so Daiso didn't have blue tack. They also didn't have command strips. Um, I also went to Biku Kamera. They also didn't have it. Both those places are known to have everything. So I'm kind of freaking out because it's currently 8.30 p.m. and everything closes at 9. So I'm going to Tokyo Hanzu because I'm sure they have everything, right? It's literally like 11 floors of just everything and they're known to just have everything. And did I tell you they have everything? I'm kind of rushing because my posters are literally ready. So I have to go back, but I just need to go grab some command strips and blue tack. I got them. Isn't Tokyo just so pretty? But yeah, I'm on my way back to Kinko. And let's check out the posters. I've never had real actual big huge posters like that. So I'm excited to see what they look like. Also, Kinko's is the ugliest name. <laughs> Kinko. Thank you, Kinkos. I got it. It was actually so pretty. I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, let's go upstairs and put up these posters for the final transformation. So, I just got home and it's currently 11 p.m. I had dinner with Yakub. But now we are going to stick the posters tonight. Also, remember I got this round mirror? Well, I know exactly where I want to stick this, so let's do that as well. Aren't these so cute, by the way? I just like the colors. So, it already came with these little things. So, I have like a little moment going on here. I have my Kurami Funko Pop that I got from team right here. And I just think the circle mirror would be perfect here. So let's put it on. I was gonna do like the whole measuring each side to make sure it's centered, but I think I'm just gonna wing it. Is this good, you guys? Is this good? Do you think that's centered? Right? It's centered, right? Push it for 30 seconds. There we go. <gasps> that's perfect. That's so cute. Now every morning when I go down the stairs, I'm just gonna look at myself. Rise and shine to me. 
Hello? Kind of looks like a bathroom over there now. This wall has been empty since forever ago. And you guys know I've had this for more than a year. Literally since I lived in my old apartment. And I think it's time to hang him up right here. I think this is the perfect place to put him. Keith Haring is one of my favorite artists of all time. I literally have the dog tattooed on me. And this was actually my very first tattoo. So I'm gonna use these command strips to put Keith Haring right here. Literally one of my favorite paintings by Keith Haring ever. Okay, the moment you guys have been waiting for the posters. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. My. God. This is the first one. It's the Lady Gaga Chromatica poster. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. And of course, it's Ferb 1000. This art is by Justin the Turtle, one of my favorite artists of all time, who happens to be my best friend in the whole wide world. And this is also the debut art for Ferb 1000 for my brand Buy Extra. If you guys want a t-shirt of Ferb 1000, go to buyextra.com. And of course, one of my favorite artists of all time, Charlie XCX. I had to get a poster of XCX World. I'm so excited. Okay, let's stick all these posters. To stick them, I got these tacks. They're usually blue and called blue tacks. But I guess they're white now. Mold it a little bit. Oh my god, wait. This is way too big. This is way too big. It won't fit. Okay, change of plans. It looks like Keith Haring is going here because it literally won't fit. We're just gonna put Ferb 1000 over there. Also, like, why did I get the biggest poster size? It's so... Big. Is that cute? Hold on. Just like that. Oh my god. This art is just amazing. I love, love, love it so much. Justin is seriously one of the most talented people I know. Some people can draw, and Justin can make art come to life. That's perfect. I love it. And then Keith Haring is going right up here. Oh my god. I just fucked up the wall just to mark the wall. There you go. And apparently for these command strips, you have to wait an hour before hanging anything heavy. And I want to make sure this doesn't fall and shatter, so I'm gonna show you guys in the morning. Ooh. Charlie XCX needs to go right on this wall right here, I think. It's right here. Right? Like, that would be so cute. I love the blue against the concrete. Look at that! What the fuck? Stop it. Oh my god, I'm a genius. That is perfect. You guys are probably wondering, oh my god, Stan, where are you gonna put the Lady Gaga one? Who the fuck dare to cop? Guys, of course I'm gonna put it in my bedroom, so I wake up and Lady Gaga is always watching over me when I sleep. And it's also the perfect color combination with the green and the orange. My brain is braining. Literally since I moved, I knew I wanted a poster right here. And I knew it was gonna be Lady Gaga. So today, let's call it a full circle moment, shall we? What the fuck am I saying? Bitch, get the fuck out! Summer Stadium Tour. Oh my god. This one doesn't say Tokyo anywhere. What? My new poster! I'm always gonna be sleeping right here. And Lady Gaga will be watching over me. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready for the final apartment reveal? Oh my god. But yeah, before I go, I just wanted to say thank you so, so much for all your love and support. I'm able to do all these things and live my dream life because of you guys. So thank you so, so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys again on my next video next week. Here's my new apartment.